Managing the overwhelming amount of instruments and materials used takes a lot of training, careful planning, and a lot of time. An efficient way to optimize organization to its fullest is to implement a color code system. Color coding has been used for decades in many industries, not to mention in our everyday lives, and is proven to be an effective way of managing anything. A color code system offers the eye instant recognition and reduces the time searching for items you need, which is very valuable in the dental office. It's simple to start. Assign a color to each procedure in your practice and then identify everything by placing it into the appropriate color organizer, such as a tray, tub, instrument cassette, or burr holder. Items that do not fit into the color-coded organizer can be identified by using color-coded rings and tape. Zerx products were all developed to work together to give you a system that is efficient and saves you time. With over 40 organizers available, an array of 16 colors to choose from, you are able to customize your own color code system that works for you. To make it simple, we have broken down this system into four parts. Storage, Setup, Breakdown, and Sterilization. The following videos will guide you through each step in more detail. Material Storage to be an organized, efficient dental practice, you need to streamline your supplies. So the first area of your practice to organize is your materials. You probably have supplies stored in multiple places, which most likely include central sterilization, the operatories, and supply closets. The key part in organizing these materials is knowing which supplies get stored where. When your inventory arrives from your dental dealer, start by unpacking all items into one main location, such as central sterilization. This storage space will be considered your bulk storage area. You should store these items so that they are easy to get to and you can clearly see all the items available. Labeling the outside of the cabinetry as to its contents will help ensure everything is put away in its attended place. You now will take materials from your bulk storage area and place them into two separate areas. The first area is your operatory drawers. Here you will want to store your commonly used materials such as cotton rolls, gloves, patient bibs, saliva ejectors, and so on. Consistency is very important in inventory control, so make sure all your operatory drawers are stocked with the same supplies in the same locations. This will enable anybody to find materials promptly when needed and will also make the restock process quicker. The second area your materials go in are the tubs. Remember, with the color code system, you will have a different color tub for each procedure holding your procedure specific materials, such as composite, cements, sealants, and so on. The best way to remember which color is for each procedure is to have a chart that shows this. It can be as simple as a chart with the name of the procedure and the assigned color written next to it. All tubs are stored in a central location, such as central sterilization, and are restocked as needed. Now you can easily transport your procedure-specific materials into any operatory. With the utilization of tubs, you will be able to keep less inventory on hand since you will no longer be stocking each operatory with these procedure-specific materials. By executing this process, you will simplify your inventory control, which will allow you to keep a first-in, first-out routine on dated items, and an accurate count on the others. You will save time in counting inventory and save money by using your products before they expire. Once supplies run low in these two areas, head back to your bulk storage location and restock as needed. You should do an inventory check once a week in both the sterilization area and in each operatory. Procedure Setup When you are ready to set up an operatory for a procedure, simply pull the appropriate color-coded tray and tub. Your procedure tray will already contain all the instrumentation for that procedure, and your tub will have all the procedure-related materials needed. Zerk considers the tub and tray to be like the dentist's toolbox because it contains all your procedural items in an organized container that you can easily carry to the operatory without worrying about any items being left behind. Begin setting up your chair side workspace by placing your commonly used items from the operatory drawers and your other items from the tub onto your tray. 
You should only pull the materials you will use from the tub. Set the tub cover back on, but do not lock it. This will prevent aerosols from settling on your materials. However, all materials will still be easily accessible should you need additional items. Now your tray is complete with all instrumentation and supplies. You can recover your tray with a lock-on cover or bib until the patient's in the chair and you are ready for the procedure. To implement a color code system to its fullest, we recommend you ID your instruments. To do so, place color code rings or color code tape on all instruments. This will identify which procedure they are for. Two colors may be used so that you can color code by procedure as well as by practitioner. Simply place the rings or tape in a V-shaped pattern on the instruments. This setup will identify what procedure they are for and who owns the instruments. The diagonal pattern represents the order in which the instruments are used. Breakdown The procedure is complete and now it is time to break down your setup. Dispose of all consumable materials at chair side, such as the saliva ejector, cotton rolls, needles, and any other single-use items. By disposing these items now, it will save time in central sterilization when the cleaning process is ready to begin, and it also helps prevent potential injuries that may occur during transportation or sterilization. Place instruments back into their cassette and place any burr or endophiles into the appropriate organizers. Using cassettes will help protect personnel from accidental instrument sticks and also protect the instruments from unnecessary wear, giving them a longer life. In addition, with all the instrumentation into holders, you will save time during your cleaning and sterilization processes because they eliminate any individual instrument handling. You can now lock on your tray cover and surface disinfect any items that need to be stored back into the tub. At the same time, lock the cover on the tub and surface disinfect the outside of the tub. Both the tray and tub will be ready for safe transportation back to central sterilization. Complete the process by finishing your normal surface disinfectant process of any other equipment in the operatory and removing any barriers used. Sterilization The color code system makes the sterilization process faster, easier, and eliminates unnecessary extra steps. The tub was already surface disinfected and now can be placed back into your cabinetry. It is ready for use for the next time the procedure is performed. If you cannot get to the tray setup right after the procedure, make sure the cover is locked on and the trays can be stacked on the countertop to be processed at a later time. The lock on covers will keep the contaminated items from being exposed and prevent any items from accidentally falling off. This will ensure this area stays safe. Once you are ready to break down the tray setup and begin the cleaning and sterilization process, you will proceed with the following. First, remove the locking cover and place your cassette and burr holder into the ultrasonic cleaner or instrument washer. A huge benefit from Zerk's organizers is that they are compact, lightweight, and you can fit many procedures into one cycle compared to the stainless steel holders. While these items are being cleaned, surface disinfect your tray and locking cover. Then move these items over to the clean side of central sterilization. Remove the organizers from the ultrasonic or instrument washer. If you used an ultrasonic for your cleaning method, you will want to rinse your items with water and then allow them to dry completely. If you used an instrument washer, you can remove your items and allow them to dry for there is no need for rinsing. Next. You will wrap or bag all items and place them in the autoclave. Once sterilized, place the corresponding cassette and burr holder back on the appropriate tray, lock the cover on, and store back into the cabinetry. By having all your procedures color-coded, you will have no wasted time pulling out and separating each procedure's organizers for sterilization. There are no loose instruments or tools that need to be individually cleaned and that eliminates exposure to sharp tools, extra time in cleaning, and trying to remember which item goes with each procedure. Training also becomes simple because you are able to teach these processes by explaining the color code setups compared to each instrument and tool that needs to go with a specific procedure. Applying a color code system to your practice takes time, dedication, and a lot of patience but in the end it will pay off immensely. 
you will have better inventory control, a more efficient setup and sterilization process, and you will have extra time to utilize towards additional patient appointments, helping out staff in other areas, or just being able to work stress-free and happy. If you have any questions on the videos you just watched, do not hesitate to contact Zerk. We are here to help you in any way that we can, and we want you to succeed. Thank you for your time.